Having a mini laboratory strapped to your face tends to hinder one's jump shot. But the mask is meant to make good athletes even better. So this is a live readout, that number seven, that is his VO2. Right now, how much oxygen his body is consuming. The University of Toronto is bringing now, together people from two like very to different worlds. Here, scientists are monitoring Flavio Pagliaro's body in motion. How much oxygen he needs, how hard his muscles work, and how fast his heart pumps. Flavio's heart rate right now, 103. Olympian Rosie McLennan hasn't come down with a strange affliction. Those are sensors, dozens of them. Rosie? And they're made to measure every jump. Uh, we got a jump height of 0.386. We got it's high-tech stuff. The box is something called an opto jump. You can't see it, but there's a light beam between those yellow strips. When the beam is broken, researchers know how high and how fast McLennan is bouncing. We have to be able to analyze that best point of contact for us to be able to push against the trampoline and create that enough, enough energy to get high in the air. McLennan struck gold in trampoline for Canada at the London Olympics, but can she beat her personal best? This is to find out how small changes can score a big difference. Hey, you'll notice that she's doing different things with her hands on every jump, okay? And it's those subtle adaptations of her hands which allow her to land in the center of the trampoline. McLennan has less than one third of a second in air to make sure her every move helps her hit the target. So we've got our screens up there. No, they're not texting friends. They're actually filling out a survey on a special app, providing valuable data after games and practice to researchers about their emotions. So we're trying to figure out how um, relationships between team members affects their team performance. Sabrina so Tai is part of a group very, studying the data. 80 U of T athletes punch in their info, in and somewhere in all that data may be clues to winning strategies. Yeah. So the first thing you'll be asked is to rate how well you performed today, and then they'll be asked about how their team performed. But you could say, I was great, but my team was not. Yes. The, so the information could be used by team that. psychologists to improve performance, but the athletes are assured coaches won't see individuals' answers. So they can't sit them out if they suspect emotional issues. That data is only accessible to the researchers. What the coaches might find out is like that in general, using this kind of strategy is ineffective or that this strategy is particularly effective. And they're not just assessing problems on the field, they're also studying how personal problems can weigh on the athletes. Relationship problems, it can be money problems, it can be school, work. So there's all these other stressors that, that go on in athletes' lives. But there's no guarantee crunching the numbers will produce more gold medals and championships for Canadian athletes. David Coleman, CBC News, Toronto.